I leave you with Henry David Thoreau's words. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. We salute you! You're talking to us at RT10 in Ireland, and congratulations on the film. Thank you. Thanks so um, much. So it's a disaster movie, and your characters are battling the elements. Now there must have been a certain amount of wind and rain on set. So how did you kind of cope with that? There was there was a ludicrous amount of wind and rain on set. <laughs> it, was, it was a disaster of a movie. Actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it, they uh, they were constantly pelting us with with uh, with rain and wind machines and um, and debris actually you had it you probably had it worse than than anybody well i don't know i think i think we all had our fair share i mean there was a certain sound when the wind machine was coming up to mm. speed and it would get about to about 50 miles an hour and you think okay that's enough and you realize that it's only at half power you don't worry too much about looking looking good or anything when you're under <laughs> no, those you know no it's hard good. to be vain yeah. in those yeah. circumstances which is uh, is helpful and when you saw the finished product with all the special effects were you really blown away Literally. So it, good. You so it, good. I need to do I've been trying to do, just work them in. Zingers. I, I was blown <laughs> away. Was absolutely uh, yeah, no, I'm really, really, really impressed because because actually Stephen kept his kept his little light under his bottle a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. You know, he he did describe what we were experiencing, what we were seeing, but the finished product is beyond my expectation. And yeah. It's really kind of a genius. When we it? arrived, we were shown a previs of what, you know, roughly things were going to look like. And he, that was impressive, but uh, but it was nothing like what's, what's funny. I mean, yeah, I was really taken with how it looks. And your father and son on screen. And has that kind of... I mean, ridiculous. Hard to, hard to believe. Yeah. Really. I don't know. I think it's pretty well cut. Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> I feel but, like it's about right. Yeah. Has that like kind of stuck with you outside? Like, have you been passing on some words of wisdom to Max? Have you been learning a lot from Richard? Sometimes, I mean, of course, he's learned everything he knows. <laughs> I taught him everything he knows. I think sometimes you, you learn from youth. You know, I think I've, <laughs> I think I think I've reinvigorated you, haven't I? You did. Yeah, he's totally doing the crucible did. right now, and I think I've I think I've my my performance has brought a lot into John Proctor. Look at the side though. Come on, hurry up, let's go. What do we got? It's regenerating. This is what you guys do for a living. They chase. I study. Watch out! And it was close! Dude, my arm hurts! What's your favourite thing about the film and why should people come and see it? I think it's great to see a, a, a truly an original an original uh, disaster film, you know, and and, um, and something that is spectacular but also focuses on on uh, on the human beings affected but in this small town. I think I think that's what I really liked about it early on and I think that's what I'm proud of in the yeah. in the final film. I also feel like the, the, the tornado tornadoes and the weather it, it's an it's an, a character of its own and it's yeah. it's like a it's like a, a monster in a movie and the way that it's delivered to, to the audience is is, you know, quite special. You don't see the, the 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 monster until quite a long way through the film and it's it slowly reveals itself to you. I study storms all my life. And this one is bigger than any storm that has ever been. This is a huge like leading role for you. How did yeah. you find working on that kind of scale of production? Yeah, it was it was um it was somewhat intimidating to to start to start off, but mm -hmm. um I was made to feel so welcome by uh, Steve and Todd and by everyone we worked. We had an amazing, uh, we were just saying, an amazing cast and crew mm -hmm. out in Michigan that made it um, a real special time for me. And you know, and just great to learn off people of, of this experience and, and, and then also teach Richard a few things. It's good to like take some we're, people we're to We'd like to make a rom-com together called After the Storm, which I think, because we enjoyed working with each other so much, we're going we're gonna to do like a little family story. Yeah, it might be a mini-series if anyone's <laughs> going to pick that up. It must have been like a high drop back to reality for you coming from like filming The Hobbit. From one extreme to the other. Um, but it was nice to, to sort of play m my own size and status and, and contemporary piece, um, albeit in a cold and wet wind machine. Yeah, no, it was a nice contrast to come from, from Hobbit to, into the storm.